I've taken my physics degree and my love of singing to create the ultimate nerd party trick, something I didn't even think was actually possible. I've only ever seen it done in uh, movies or in cartoons. It's where a soprano hits a perfect high C and shatters a wine glass right in, in front of their face. And uh, I've been training myself now for about 18 months to be able to do this. So ladies and gentlemen, that is why tonight, I promise you, I will shatter a wine glass with just the power of my voice. Are you ready? I'm mostly talking to the glass right now. Okay. <clears throat> months I've uh, discovered that this is a lot more difficult than I first thought because I have to get my voice up to 125 decibels uh, which for reference is the same volume as putting your head inside a motorcycle engine uh, which I've also been trying to do for 18 months but I can't get the safety catches off uh, so uh, what I've done instead is I've taken a bit of physics theory and a bit of physics practical popped down to Maplin got a clamp stand a speaker and a very large amplifier uh, and I've used this to create something that will put my voice up to 125 decibels and shatter this glass. But there's a little bit of theory you need to know before we start off. Now, you can't just pluck any note out of the universe, you know, your favourite note. You can't just sing that at the glass, get it loud enough and expect that to work. You have to choose the note that this glass loves to vibrate at. You choose this glass's favourite note. You choose this glass's resonant frequency. I'm aware that I'm kind of anthropomorphising the glass here. <laughs> this glass hates it when I do that. Uh, so it's very easy to find the resonant frequency of the glass. It's, it's one note and it's different for every glass. Uh, and you just ping it. You just give it a bit of energy and it will sing you the note that is its resonant frequency. So that's the exact note you have to sing back to the glass. You get that up to 125 decibels, and it should shatter. Now, it's, it's not like trying to use your voice as a hammer to just smash it to pieces. You're taking a more sort of Darren Brown approach and trying to persuade it to break itself up from the inside. <laughs> Uh, so I've uh, um, been practicing a little bit. Now, um, Steve has got some helpful equipment. He's got a camera so you can see the glass up close. And uh, he's also got a synthesizer that can tell me the exact note and play me the exact note of this glass. Now, um, I think it's a B above middle C. Uh, uh, which is what I've been practicing. So, um, No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I mean, I can play, I can play the resonant frequency. Okay, You'll see that it's not okay, B. Great. You'll see. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Um, but... Right. Oh, um, I've put that ping pong ball in there so you can see when it's exactly on the resonant frequency and it is doing what is scientifically known as batshit crazy there. <laughs> um, so, so that was the resonant frequency. So, yeah. that's, a, that's a B above middle C there. No, no, no. Okay, well, I'll play the resonant frequency again and then I'll play B above, above middle okay. C and then you'll see that they're, okay. they're completely different. Okay, so first of all, um, the resonant frequency and then, and then B above C. Okay. Batshit. Good. Totally different. <laughs> so, the, uh, but no, no, but how different are they? Because I there, uh, it's a, it's about seven hertz difference. Yeah, but out yeah. of how many? Five hundred. <laughs> right. So yeah, good luck. <laughs> you need to be within about three or four hertz really to get it. You... Now, this, this genuinely is very difficult. And while we've been on tour, Helen has not always been successful. So I thought, well, I should help. And so I've been helping by keeping a tally. <laughs> Helen, 23, glass 12. Who will win tonight? Uh, by the way, one of those uh, glass numbers was someone heckling from the audience with a very specific frequency. <laughs> oh, and if you're at all uncertain about who to support, I'll just point out that if the glass wins tonight, both the numbers will be prime. <laughs> so, <laughs> Matt and I have very different definitions of helping, okay? Uh, so uh, before I do this, I warn you, this is going to get very loud. 125 decibels is, is nothing to be messed about with. So I need all of you to put in the ear defenders that you were given uh, uh, when you came in. You've, you've all been issued with them. Uh, you've actually had them since birth. They're here. Uh, so especially the front row, if you could pop those in, please, or pop them into the ears of the person next to you if you care more about them. Uh, and uh, that, will, that will really help when we do this. All right. Uh, Matt, am I allowed three goes at this? Am I allowed a... What? Oh, yes. <laughs> You're allowed three, if within three, three goes, it goes towards Helen's telly. Okay, all right, let's do this. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, uh, Steve, can I have a little bit of tone just to check I've got the... 
Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? Yeah. Uh, I had it. I definitely had it. You had it loads of times. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because it, it was... <laughs> I had it. I definitely yeah. had it. Okay, that was a warm-up go. Yeah, okay, right. okay. okay, one down, two to go. Okay. <laughs> Thank goodness that tone isn't annoying. <laughs> All, right. All right. Okay. What's the tone? Yes, please. That's what you're going for. Can anyone sing? <laughs> can anyone else sing? I meant, can anyone else sing? <laughs> no, we'll do one more. Uh, I'll push, I can push the amp. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Can I try a bit more time? Okay. <laughs> 